Good morning, guys. Madman Mondo coming at you live from the Garden Devil Rock here in beautiful Alabama. All right, we're going to get out of here. Okay, we have uh, Dontrell Montgomery. All right, he purchased a console off the website from us. Here it is. It's 250 gig drive up on the line servers along with a 10 day trial of the purge. Um, all post MW3, BO2, and Ghosts. And um, we're going to be uh, updating a, another XCX shortly for MW2, AW, and also uh, BO3. So they're going to all have all posts. All right. So anyway, she's all done, ready to rock and roll. We're going to go ahead, we're going to boot it up right now, alright? And uh, hopefully we're going to send him out of luck, this crazy thing will freaking boot, alright? Now what I'm going to do here, let me see here. whoa, 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 whoa. Freaking chair is making me crazy here, alright? Now, look, alright, console booted, I'm going to get on up into uh, FSD Dash, we're going to get some notifications from the server, letting us know it's online live and all that, we're going to get some plug-in notifications, all that kind of crap, alright? Once that happens, I'm going to give you a quick tour of this thing, okay? Hey, Anthony, how are you? Gerald, what's happening, man? Good to see you guys. Um, also, I uh, went ahead and I uploaded an XEX, okay, and it posted it all over the place. Um, if you're on online servers, download it, so that way then you can get the uh, off host for BO2 and all that kind of crap, all right? So anyway, all right, let's roll through this. Under emulator, Genesis Plus, 360, SNES, 360, and main. Your Xbox Classic games, okay, there's a bunch on there for you to play. Your homebrew section, all right, where all the tools reside, where you can destroy the console in seconds. Xbox Live Arcade, a really mind-boggling amount of arcade games. And then, of course, on uh, we have a regular Xbox 360 games, as you can see. All right, now, to get to the original dash, go to your homebrew section right here. Go to Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash it again. All right, there you are. Well, again, Don Carroll Montgomery, you're on the line, it's live, you only have 30 reserve days left, got it, good, okay, bypass the sign-in, and you can see that you're up, you're online, you're alive, our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD, over in our fifth cab, we have our BO2 cheats, our ghost cheats, and Modern Warfare 3 cheats for right now, these other three are going to be enabled later on today, alright, just to let you know, alright, if everything goes right, so anyway, alright, getting back to FSD Dash, just smash the A button at Xbox Home, that'll take you back, all right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate a couple of cheats here for you. All right, that way then you can get your feet wet and know what the heck you're doing. Okay, uh, all the games you can load right from the Xbox 360 games folder. Okay, so I'll tell you what, we'll sign in a profile. Now, this is an offline profile, so I'm an online profile, okay? Now, we're loaded, good, all right. I'll tell you what, we'll bring it over to Ghost first. Ghost is the same cheats that's on MW3 cheats, so it's the same thing, okay? This ghost, we can add a little bit more realism to it. We start it right from the title. We don't have to go to default multiplayer or any crap like that. You don't have to do any of that crappy hack shit. All right. You can see it goes bypass. Everything is good. All right. Press the start button. Okay. Make this a little visible. Okay. We'll bring this out here. Bring this out here. All right. We'll go to multiplayer. Continue to multiplayer. Here we go. Everything should uh, load up fine. We should get a notification. Yep, there we are. Okay, good. We'll do a little local play. All right. Use the hard drive. There we go. All right, good. Game set up. All right. We'll do uh, standard modes. We'll do a free-for-all. Okay, we'll bring this back. We'll add some bots to it for some realism. Start the match. D-pad left will open the menu. X, you will select. B, you will back out. Okay, and D-pad left to close the menu. Alright, B is for backing out of the sub-menus, actually, okay? So you'll see an orange box on the right-hand side of the screen once this thing starts. There we go. Alright, pick a gun. Alright, open with D-pad left. Hit X. We'll do visible. Okay, uh, let's see, ESP. We'll put pyramids around them. Yeah, I know, I got killed. It's okay. We'll turn this all on here. No recoil. Yep, we'll do all this stuff. Okay, good. Now, what happens is... Alright, well, after I got killed, of course, okay? Now, close the menu uh, with the D-pad left, alright? And as soon as they turn blue, you can shoot them in the face, okay? It's very uh, satisfying, I should say. Here, have some grenades. Anybody there? No? There we go, got him right through the freaking head. Oh, look, a wall shot. Hmm. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you. Yeah. Thing is to keep moving. Stick and move. Stick and move. Dog ready. 
Yeah, there we go. Ah, you bastard. So anyway, that's how the cheats work, okay? There you go. Alright, now. Go ahead and get out of this. So that you can see it works. No problems. Alright, like this grand. Alright, what we'll do is we'll go over to BO2. Alright, just to show you what's involved there. Alright, because it also has Jiggy, it also has Tesseract, and it also has our oil post. Alright? So. Alright. Uh, we'll go to Xbox 360 games. We'll bring it on over to BO2. There you go. Select it. Like I said, no hacky crap or anything like that. You can actually load it right from the main menu. Okay? So, there anyway, we go. Black Ops 2 Bypass. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, like this grand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, get on with the Dolby, okay? I don't care about the freaking Dolby. Alright, here we go. Yeah, like that. Let's start. Hard drive. Good deal. Okay. Now this one's got a, this one's got a, a little bit more to it. Okay, multiplayer. Alright, now to load the cheats. There you are. We're good. Local play. Alright. We'll set up the bots. Yeah, we'll put nine in there. Okay, here we go. Alright, then we'll start the match. Okay. Let's have D-pad left and X to open the menu. Alright, to open Jiggy. Left trigger and both thumbsticks. Alright. So we'll set it up first. We'll put ourselves in God mode. Okay, anyway, just for the hell of it. Grab the gun. Alright, there we go. Main mods, we'll do quick mods. There we are. Okay, everything is good now. Alright. Then X to back out. Alright, and then... Uh, Opening up the menu, there you are. Alright. Time to earn your work. Coil, all this crap. There we go. Aimbot. Yeah, yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll do on screen. Yep, that's good. Do this and this. Alright. ESP menu. Yep. We'll choose that. And we'll do pyramids and name distance weapon, all that crap. Snap lines. There you go. Okay? And we'll back out of that. And then what we will do is, we will run through here, and as you can see, I'm in God mode, so they can't kill me. I have to kill them, though. Whoopsie. Dang it, I hate when that, I, I hate when that menu opens like that. It makes me know. Oh, really? How do you like that? Here, let's fly through the air. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's fun. It's just you of it. You know what I'm saying? Okay? Alright, now, if you want to, you can bring it down to bullets here. Okay? Look. Sorry about that. I get mixed up sometimes. Okay. And, yeah, we'll use swarms. There you go. Swarms work real good. I like swarms. Swarms is good. And you can also do, ah, new bullets. There you go. There you go. Yeah, here. Survive that. Okay? Yeah, there you go. Okay? And as you can see, we're, set, we're setting the place on fire. There you go. Yeah, a little bit of overkill. But it's okay. Alright? Yeah, this is not enough for that. Okay? So, anyway, as you can see, yeah, and, you know, I mean, we can just fly around the map. Eee! Oh, look, two guys down there. How you doing? <laughs> nice to see you. Eh, we can fly around the map a little more. What the hell? Who's there? How you doing, eh? Yeah, you're looking good. Say, victory, it's mine. Hooray! Okay? So, anyway, as you can see, there you go. We have all posts. You know, it's got Jiggy on it. Um, you know, I would recommend you the all posts. You know, if you're online play with a biggie, you have to force the host. And sometimes you can't get into a session with forcing host and all that crap, okay? That's the reason why I'm just telling you, you know, I would use you off host on it. Okay? Now, as far as uh, zombies is concerned, we've got the Tesseract menu on there. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's go back here. Yeah, we'll do zombies. Alright. Zombie cheats will load. Okay, uh, let's see here. We'll go to local play. Alright. Come on, bring the plane to me with you. Come on, stop playing around, will you? Jesus. Okay, good. Alright, then we'll select that. We'll do transit, okay? Yeah, we'll go original. There we go. Start the match, okay? Now, um, this also has an off post on it as well. Alright? So, as I, as I will demonstrate to you, just so you can see. Alright, here we go. Hopefully. Here we are. Good. Ah, oh, Jesus, why'd you gotta mess with me like that? I hate that crap. 
weren't picked fine. I don't understand. Well, that's maybe because I loaded the other menu and just went right to zombies and I shouldn't have done that. Let's see here. Yeah, new. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Alright. Yeah. No, I don't want to do that! Okay. <laughs> Jesus! Hit in the ass. Okay. Let's see here. Reverse gun game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Minimum two play. Oh my god. Alright. I guess I want to leave the line. Okay. I want to do a local game thing. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah. Transit. Thank you. Okay. Oh my god. Why is everything got to be such a pain up? You know? Seriously. Mm. Gets me mad. Oh my god. You got to get me mad. Ah. Piss me off. Now, what's it gonna do? Is it gonna do it again? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright. I know what's going on. It's because I loaded the other one before this one. Okay? Sometimes you just have to restart it. But, um, that's just the way it is. What am I gonna tell you? <laughs> Kill! Okay. RGHs. See? Little things. Gotta be crazy. Anyway. Look. Alright. Let's get down to this here, okay? Before we do anything else, okay? Look. Alright, it's got multiple dashboards on it. Alright, just to let you know. We'll do dash launch. We'll load that. Hopefully it'll load without a problem. Thank you very much, okay? We'll go to paths, okay? As you can see. If you, okay, default is freestyle dash. Button B is going to bring you to FX menu. Button X is going to bring you to XCX menu. Button Y is going to bring you to stock dashboard. And left bumper is going to bring you to Aurora. At any time, you can go ahead, alright? And you can hold down whatever button here that you want and it will load that dashboard when when you're getting to the loading prompt okay when you start up the xdx just press the button and hold it down and it'll go to that it'll go to that dashboard okay um now it's easy to change the dashboard to uh, you know a default dashboard if you want all you gotta do is just hit a at default back it out to the double dot folder okay go to aurora aurora is already set up on here aurora xdx just hit it all right and um that'll that'll put it in default RB, bring it down. X, save it to the hard drive, okay? B, back out. Now to load Aurora. Aurora's already set up, okay? All your titles are already set up on it. You don't have to do a damn thing to it, okay? It's already done, all right? All the mess is done, okay? So there you are, all right? That's the Xbox 360 games, okay? And then, of course, we go on over to Xbox Live Arcade. And we got our sub-content menu, as you can see. There's our, there's our arcade games, our classic games. Our homebrew section, and our indie, that's our indie section right there, that's developers games, and then show all which brings you to the hard drive, okay? Switch it back, real easy, just go to, um, yeah, yeah, go to homebrew, dash launch, there you go, pass will come up, click on paths, I'm going to bring it back to default, back out to the root folder, you go to freestyle, select it, there it is. RB, bring it down, hit X, save it, done. All right, and now it'll run FSD, all right? Now, you get this thing online for the first time, all right? I don't know if you're a modder or not, or if you've been a modder or whatever, but I'm going to I'm gonna give it to you straight the way it needs to be, all right? Look, here's the deal here, okay? When you first get this crazy thing, all right, do not just power it on, because if you just power it on, you're going to stare at the Xbox logo for a very, very long time, all right, which is kind of retarded, all right? So, open the tray. Brand new hard drive shell, kind of sticky. All right, pull out the hard drive. Make sure everything's plugged in, powered on. All right. Now, when the system boots, all right, you're gonna come to the Xbox 360 logo. All right. Once it boots, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the original dashboard on it. Okay. Now, system booted. Here we go. Here comes the logo. Life is grand. Now you're gonna go to the Xbox Blackboard screen. All right. It's just your standard Xbox screen. All right, and, there, and what you need to do is you're going to have to set this up on your network. So we're going to go up, over, bring it to settings, bring it to system. Okay, under system, go to network settings. Okay, you will see that my Wi-Fi is already accepted, but it's already, you know, checkmarked off. You're going to pop up over here. All right, when it does click on it, put your password in. When you do that, it's going to automatically test your network connection, and you're going to wind up with a screen that looks like this. All right, you're going to get two, you're going to get a checkmark and two red X's. 
All right, once that happens, life is good. That's what you want, okay? Even though it, this is bad, but it's not bad, it's good, okay? The main thing is, I don't care what these two do. The only thing I care about is that check mark right there because that means the Xbox can get to your router. It can get to the router, it can get to the internet, and then it surely can get to Xbox Live. Now, okay, if you have an X through here, okay, and you're not connecting to your router, you better check your router and make sure that it's letting the Xbox 360 online on your local area network, okay? Other than that, that's the screen that you're going to get. When you get that screen, power the system off, all right? Then what I want you to do, put the hard drive back in. You'll feel it seat with a click, close the drive door, pull the power supply, leave this out five minutes, okay? you got to leave it out five minutes. Do not plug it in and just go. It will screw up, it will act like it's online, but it won't be online and you'll get a gigantic DNS error, which basically means screw you, I'm not connecting, okay? So anyway, leave this plug out for five minutes. After that, after the five minutes is up, plug it back in. The only reason why I can plug it back in is because it's on my router already. So the DNS settings are right and everything, okay? So, after five minutes, plug it back in, power it on, all right? And when it powers back on, and you get to the dashboard, okay, which is just booted. All right, now, you're going to go to FSD Dash. You're going to see your plugins come across. If the plugins come across, you get to FSD Dash. This green stuff stops flashing around here, and it actually locks on the server, all right, which it should do any second. Yep, there it goes, okay? That means it's locked to the server, fan speed kicks up, FSD is running, your plugins will come across, which means that you're basically online, okay? You're live, all right? Now, sync the controller, all right, go on over to Homebrew just to make sure that you're online and live. Go to Xbox 360 dashboard, mash the A button, mash it one more time. All right, if the damn thing is online, guess what? You're going to get a big square block, hopefully. We'll see. If it, if it makes it online. <laughs> this is the end result all the time when something happens, okay? Forgot to let it load the other plug-in. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, it kind of gets mad, especially when you're trying to um, make the plug-in work. I'm sorry about that. Hang on. Let me reboot it. Ain't no big deal. Oh, yeah, she's frozen solid. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We plug it in. We're going to power it back on. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Just happens. What are you going to do? Like I said, it's an RGH. <laughs> Unless my monitor died. Yeah, I think my monitor died. <laughs> yes, this is a known problem that I've been dealing with for a while now. Unfortunately, there it goes. It booted. Okay. As soon as I, as soon as I turn the monitor back, <laughs> son of a. Actually, the monitor died midstream. That was just great. Sorry about that, guys. Now it should go. Yep. There it goes. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the morning. Uh -huh. All right. Anyway, you boot it up. You got that plug in, okay? Now you're going to get one more. All right. From the purge, which is going to let you know that you're online and live with that. There you go. Now, go to the freaking dashboard, for God's sake. Thank you. As you can see, you get a square. Let you know that you're that you're live. That's a good sign. Okay, there you go. All right, now bypass that. It should come up, and you should be online. There you are. Okay, you're on live now. Once that happens, okay, life is great. You're good to go. There's one of the things got to do now. Okay, go on over. Sign in, sign out. Okay, look. If you have an existing Xbox Live profile, download it. If you do not, you have to make one on XboxLive.com. And then what you have to do is use the credentials for Outlook. All right? Once you use the credentials for Outlook, then you go ahead, you come here, you download the profile. All right? Plain and simple. Okay? Now, if the profile dies midway downloading, if you wind up with a problem, and this is only if you wind up with a problem, this is what you do. Okay? You back out of that, you go on up over, bring it over, go to settings, go to system. All right? On your system, okay, what you want to do, all right, is you want to go to storage, all right, and then you want to go to the hard drive, okay? Now, on the hard drive, you will see profiles, okay? You can click on that. Now, if the profile partially downloaded, it's going to be here, all right? What you're going to do is you would select it, and then you would delete it, okay? Once you delete it, all right, back out of here, back out of here, leave this highlighted right here and hit Y, okay? And then what I want you to do, clear the system cache twice, okay? That's once. And we'll do it one more time. Now, why do we do it one more time? Well, that's because Microsoft likes to leave little things behind and with their so-called clearing system cache, okay? So mini defragmentation, okay? But anyway, once that's done, then you're good. Then come back over. Come back over to here. Oh, 
sign in, sign out, and download your profile. Once you download it, it's going to load it, it's going to bring it back, and you're going to you're going to wind up with it coming up to this screen right here with a uh, saying that you're logged in and everything. Once that's happened, then go back to uh, Xbox Home. Okay. Now, what you're going to do there, once that's done, here's what's going to happen now. All right. Look, what you're going to do is this. You're going to go on over, homebrew section, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to XM360, click on it, click on it again. Now, what it's going to do, it's going to black screen for a minute because it's got to scan the entire hard drive for all the downloadable content and all of the XBLA content, okay? Now, once that down, once it scans it and everything and it brings up the menu, you're going to unlock everything to your profile. Make sure that you're signed in with your profile. You're not signed in, you just unlock stuff. Well, more than likely, you're going to wind up with a mess on your hands because downloadable content will not be available, okay? So, once you're logged in, it's good. Go to the left, go to unlock XPLA, hit A. Okay, good. Go to show DLC. All right, click on that. All right, bring it over. Unlock DLC. Okay? Now, once it unlocks... There you go, there was, 10, there was 10 files that were unlocked in this profile. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so there you go. All right, life is grand. Exit the dash, boom, that's it, there you go. Life is grand. Hooray for us. All right, now it'll bring you back to FSD dash, there you are. All right, now, okay, as far as, um, let's see, where was I? Yeah, as far as uh, emulators, you run any emulator you want, okay, they all work, everything works on them. All right, name, we can load that. That's got 4,000 ROMs on it, okay? As you can see, there you are, okay? You can go trigger, go page by page, okay? D-pad to go game by game, select the game, launch it with A, follow the on-screen instructions. Once it's, once you're done with it and everything, all right, all you got to do is hit the guide button and go back home. That's it, all right? As far as classic games, to load classic games and all that crap, okay? It's got to be in bypass mode, all right? You can't run a classic game on the, with, with the server on, okay? What I mean by that is, if you have this guide active and loaded, okay, that means that you're on the server, all right? If you try to play a classic game, the end result will be you going in here, okay, trying to play the classic game, okay? And you will wind up with a big, fat, black screen, which does absolutely nothing. Not cool, all right? So what do you do? This is what you do. You put it in bypass mode. It's very, very simple, all right? All you got to do is this right here. Power, eject, leave the tray hanging out until it boots, okay? When it boots and you get to FSD dash, all right, what I want you to do, now just booted, okay? Still leave the tray hanging out. Do not push that tray in yet, okay? Wait for it to get to FSD dash. Once the fan speed kicks up and you get to FSD dash, then you can push the tray back in, all right? Sync your controller up while you're waiting. All right, now, we made it to FSD, we can close the tray. All right, life is grand. Now, okay. Now, we can go on over to Classic Games, and we can play whatever Classic Game that you want right here, okay? There you go. All right, as you can see, logo loaded, everything is good. It's going to load the game, and it's going to play. There you go. Simple, okay? So, yeah, 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 okay, we know, we know, we know. All right, so there it is, Tony Hawk's Underground, okay? Back from good old 2005, everything works on it, okay? To get back, to back out of the game, hit the guide, go to Xbox Home, yes, boom, done. There you go, all right? So pretty much, it's all set up, it's ready to rock and roll, all right? So, listen, I want to thank you for your business, I greatly appreciate it, okay? I hope that you like it, I hope that, uh, that, that it's everything that you wanted, and if you need anything, you know, you can message me, it's not a problem, all right? We're going to be shipping it off on Monday. Rain will have a tracking number for you by Monday evening. All right, and I got a lot to get in and get going, a lot to get done. All right. So anyway, guys, look. Huh. Hey, here's Chris. Right? How are you, David? How are you, Eddie? What's happening, Ross? Man, good to see you, Tyler. What's happening, brother? Wayne. Wayne, uh, you guys are nuts. Okay. Uh, this is going to be uh, transferred over to YouTube because Don Trump doesn't have a Facebook, so he's going to see it on YouTube. So, guys, for you guys that are on YouTube, I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to my friends right there on here. <laughs> so, you know, but although sometimes I do talk to myself, and then I answer myself, too. It's just the way it is. This is what happens when you get older. You know what I'm saying? 
Look forward to it, because it's going to happen to you sooner or later. So anyway, guys, listen. <laughs> William, how are you, man? Listen, guys. Listen, listen, listen. I hope that you all have a good one, all right? I'm slamming Xboxes, so I'm, I'm, I'm going. So anyway, guys, listen. You all have a good one. Be safe and everything. Keep an eye out for the new XCXs that, that I'm going to be dropping, you know, you know, probably, uh, I'm going to probably drop drop the one later on tonight for MW2 and all that crap, all right, so, you know, and everybody will get it that's on the server, you know, and I'm just going to drop it and put it in my, um, my mega, um, my, my mega, uh, fo folder there, so that way then you guys can download it if you want or whatever, all right, so anyway, Don Trout, listen, man, thanks again, brother, I greatly appreciate it, all right, and, uh, we're getting it out to you, we will see you all later, you all have a good one, be safe, be kind, if not, Name it after me. I don't care. It's all good.